In this video, I'm gonna share with you three tips on how to vet and qualify your cash buyers because quality is so much more important than quantity. Hey, welcome to my channel if you're new. Welcome back if you're true. I'm Dara, real estate investor, entrepreneur, and consultant out of Atlanta, Georgia, and gonna dive right into the three tips and the three things that you should do to vet and qualify your buyer. Be sure to stick around all the way to the end of the video so you can get a bonus tip. I have several videos on my channel on how to find cash buyers and even how to market your deals to cash buyers. But here I want to tell you how to vet them. It's so important because not every cash buyer is made equal. So getting right into the tips. Tip number one is to ask your potential cash buyer for their specific criteria. I cannot count how many times I've had buyers like, oh yeah, just send me everything you have. I'm a cash buyer, send me all your deals. You sure you want all my deals? Because someone who wants everything, I'm not saying that just because someone will buy everything means that they're not a verified, qualified cash buyer. But it just really grinds my gears. There's, for some reason, it grinds my gears when people are just so broad in general. I think about it like this. If you are in the market to start dating and you're like, well, I like all kinds of guys or girls or whatever. And it's like, okay, so you don't have a type. You don't want an educated man who's college educated. You don't want a man from this culture. You don't want a man who's tall. And maybe that's you. Maybe you like just that species, that <laughs> gender. But those with criteria are gonna actually get what they want. You know what I mean? Like if you know what you want, you're gonna get what you want. Bringing it back to real estate. If you know you like three bedroom, two bathroom houses that are 1200 square feet, no foundation issues, and this zip code with this much uh, this little days on market, then you're going to get that. It's going to be easier on the wholesaler to find you exactly what you need. So I like to make sure that the cash buyers that I work with have criteria. Even if it's as simple as let me know what zip code you buy in, let me know what price point you buy in, um, things like that. You want to make sure you get that out of your cash buyers. Tip number two is to find out how they fund their deals. This is very important because cash buyers are not made equal the term cash itself is not is just so loose out here now so are your buyers or is your potential buyer going to need hard money which is going to take a little bit longer that means they can't close as quickly as tomorrow um, are they using their own funds are they using private funds just finding out how they're funding their deals will help you know the speed at which they can close it's also important for you as a wholesaler to understand the speed of money. So again, I mentioned if there's a buyer who needs hard money and they're telling you, oh yeah, I can close in three days, I can close in seven days, eh, tell them to keep walking because that is so not true. At least here in Atlanta. I can't speak for hard money anywhere else, but hard money is slower money than um, cash or private funds. So hard money takes anywhere from 10 to 15 days to close. Tip number three when vetting your cash buyers and qualifying them is to find out how much volume they can handle. So whether you're just starting out and you haven't done a deal yet or maybe you come across thousands of leads, whatever the case is, you wanna know if your buyer, once you know their specific criteria, and you go farming and marketing in that area to find them deals exactly what they want. You want to know if they would be able to pull the trigger if you send them two deals a month, if you send them five deals a month. Um, or are they slower paced? Are they like, yeah, I can only handle one every two months. So, And that's fine. Whatever their speed is, just work accordingly. But it's important to know that you don't want to send all your deals and pump out all your deals to this person who is not able to keep up with that type of volume. So make sure you find out how much they can handle. And here is a bonus tip for you guys. Definitely go check out this video here on the best way that I think you can find cash buyers. And once you watch that video, come right back here to get this bonus tip. So the fourth tip or the bonus tip for vetting and qualifying your cash buyers is to actually go and see what it is that they've bought in the past. So that kind of goes along with their criteria. So you want to Build a relationship with them and in doing so, in doing this, you meet face to face if they are in your area, if they're a foreign buyer or whatever, that's, you know, maybe can't do that. But 
meet them at one of their projects, meet them at one of their uh, current projects or their upcoming projects or their recent projects. Or you can just simply do a search and say, hey, what are some past projects that you've done? Look it up on Zillow or the MLS or whatever and actually kind of see what they bought it for, how much they put into it, what are their finishes like and, and what, you know, just get a feel for what their um, rehab abilities are or their rehab patterns i will say and if they're a landlord buyer same thing you can just kind of look at what areas have they bought in um in the past or what do they currently own and um how much they paid for it and things like that so that's a bonus tip meet them at their projects or if you can't meet them at their projects then um, just get a list from them of their most recent projects or their current projects so you can have an idea of what it is that they really want so just to recap the first tip for vetting your cash buyers is to find out their specific criteria. If someone is not trying to give you specific criteria, if they're not trying to tell you, oh, I like this area, this price point, this is, you know, what I'm looking for, I just don't waste your time. I don't care how much money they say they have, personally. You can take that tip or not, but I just really don't want to waste my time. Um, because what's going to happen is you're going to get deals from all over the place and you're going to be shooting it to them and they're just going to be kicking tires left and right. So let's not work with Tire Kicker McGee's, okay? Let's work with people who know what they want and can actually pull the trigger and close with you repeatedly. Um, which brings me to tip number two. How are they funding their deals? You want to know that. That's very important for you to know because some money is slower than others. And tip number three is finding out how much volume they can actually handle uh, over a specific uh, amount of time. And my bonus tip for you guys was to find out what their recent or current projects are so that you can get an idea or a better understanding of just how they operate as a rehabber or an investor. So I hope that these tips helped you in working to vet your cash buyers. You don't need a list of a thousand people. You don't need a list of a hundred people. Quality over quantity is what's going to make you a very successful wholesaler and once you build a relationship with someone who buys from you just keep that going and make sure you just you know feed them and give they give them what they want oh and hey if you want to purchase this shirt that i'm rocking here my real estate periodic table t-shirt that i designed myself go ahead and look down in the link below to see how you can order yours as well down in the description box that's at the link down in the description box there's actually a lot of things that might benefit you in your wholesaling business this t-shirt might be one of them. Um, but again, thank you guys for sticking around till the end. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will see you in the next one.